Hoops Visualize supports a range of coordinate systems, and any geometry contained in segments undergoes a transformation through all these coordinate systems until we see it drawn to the screen. This gives a good overview of going through each one. Uh, we go through an object, through the local modeling matrices of the segment, and then it's arranged in world space. World space is visible by a, say, the currently active camera, and that will get that camera's visible um, field of view of geometry in that scene graph will be drawn into the so hoop software abstraction of a window, and then finally that will get drawn and rendered out to pixels into the actual window on the screen. In this case, when we're talking about a physical dis uh, window display on a on, on a display. Again, object space, uh, is it, both object space and world space and visualize are just infinite Cartesian coordinate systems. They're unitless spaces, so there's no units, there's just X, Y, Z. They're single precision floating point coordinate systems. So each of the X, Y, and Z are single precision floating point. And again, once the segment's contents is transformed through the local object space, it is then placed in a world space. That's what we see through the camera. Okay. Uh, there is something called camera space, which is essentially the same as world space, but it can be a little bit more convenient to do certain operations in camera space to more easily construct geometry in the view plane. Um, you can get into that in some of the programming guide, a little more samples, or look at some of the source code to the construct geometry operators. Uh, we have some sample operators and sample code to create construction geometry, like selection boxes or camera zoom boxes, for example. So it's just a bit of a, a convenience coordinate system. Window space again, negative one, negative one, the bottom left corner, one, one, top right corner. This is important because all hoops visualize selection routines will uh, give, will, will require window space coordinates. So if you're going to select um, a bunch of items in a scene with a selection box, you will pass in four window space coordinates for that selection box. So if you are working with the native GUI toolkit, they'll always get pixel space, X and Y in pixels. So there'll have to be a conversion from pixel space to window space. We actually have some utilities and some um, facilities that will pre-create, the uh, pre-convert some of those coordinates for you. And we'll get to that in a little bit. Finally, pixel space. Again, the events, space in which events from the GUI are returned. So if the display is 1280 by 1024, that will be the, the, the values we'll, we'll get back in those uh, coordinates. While we're talking about windows and coordinate systems uh, and cameras, it's interesting, I think, to talk about clip regions. Clip regions are essentially a custom viewport. They're a 2D polygonal region that you define in a segment, and then geometry will be either clipped or masked. So if we look at the sample code here, we insert a sphere. Um, we then set up a, a, some points uh, a re, uh, to define a clip region. And we set up some clip space and our operation. So we can do a, um, uh, we can do a keep or remove. So it's kind of either clip or mask. And so here's a, here's a case where we set up a clip region to clip away a portion of the scene via using a triangular polygonal clip region. Okay. There can also be complex clip regions. They can overlap. So you can define kind of different loops for clip regions as we see here. And a good way to show examples of clip regions in action would be to run the sample called complex clip is what we would recommend. Finally, we'll just get into converting between coordinate systems. Uh, again, this will be useful, if, particularly if we're getting points that come into us um, in pixel space. 
from the GUI and we have to convert to window space. Uh, here's just a simple example here. We're converting from window to world space. And if we look at our selection routines, um, we have uh, other examples where we'll have to um, do some coordinate system conversions for these. Uh, so we jump down to, let's say, selection by ray. Um, selection by ray is an example where we can just pick by, select by a ray that we can imagine is getting fired into the scene. So here we would get some initial starting mouse pick points, and we're going to convert from pixel to world space for our ray start. And again, we convert another coordinate for our ray end. And then we would finally go into do our selection. We would use these world space coordinates for our ray. Uh, 